Thank you very much for your kind introductions. Uh, I feel like it's one of those uh, where people raise all the good points and I don't want to, you to have to be half sleep, you know, because a lot of good points has been already uh, raised. Uh, I, first of all, I want to thank ODI and Comic Relief for this wonderful meeting and wonderful report and, 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 and raise these wonderful points that needs to be discussed. Um, so I hope I uh, just want, I don't want to, I'll try to not to repeat, but I hope if, you, if I repeat some of the old points, please uh, don't be a little bit crossed. Um, of course, competition is the key to the remittance. I, I, I joined this company, the Hafshil, when my father established the business nearly 40 years ago. I came to UK in 1991, and um, the money transfer industry were a little bit different than the way it is today. Uh, mainly, as we raised earlier, the price was a bit high. The companies that offered the service were limited. Yes, Western Union were there, Marie Graham were there, and some other companies. But now it's a lot better. You know, all those companies, including in Investa, are in the business. So the competition is is much better than 20 years ago. But yes, we need more competitions. And, uh, and, uh, and that the price to that is more competitions. But I feel like the recent bank, banking issues will stop that. Because um, I, I was just thinking to make an example of what happened with the banks. Just imagine all the small supermarkets, all the small corner shops, where the banks say, we don't want to deal with you. We we'll only want to deal with Tesco or Sainsbury those big fours, or three, and, and what will happen in the UK? I'm sure there will have been demonstrations on the streets. So that's what's happening now, where the banks are saying, well, we want to only deal with Western Union or MoneyGrams, few top Western-owned West, Western institutions. Mm -hmm. And I think that's not good for competition. It's not good for community relations. It's not good for development. It's not good for any other reasons. And in fact, all the talk about uh, compliance and regulations and everything else. Western Union, I'm sure that point has been raised earlier. They had their own problem in the US when it comes to money laundering. MoneyGram, MoneyGram had a problem. Mm -hmm. I just had a discussion with uh, Dominic earlier. All of this problem is coming from the big guys. And who suffer? The small guys. Mm -hmm. um, so all they're saying is the UK government uh, and the regulators need to work together and work out a solution where competition can increase, where the price come down, it's open <laughs> markets to all, whether it's a mobile, whether it's a electronic, and whether it's a, a company like the Shell, so we can compete free markets. You know, the, the whole idea of the Western capitalism is a free markets, you know. And at the moment, it doesn't look like it's going that way. Actually, it's going the opposite. And you cannot run even mobile payment if you don't have a mobile, uh, if you don't have a bank account. You cannot run online uh, payment system if you don't have a bank account. It's all linked to one another. So uh, I think that's why I, I, I am uh, very honored to be in this event and to meet the good people here, here who know the, 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 the issue very well. Uh, just for further background, we already met the price 5%. So we are not expensive. And somebody was telling me, why are you not expensive? Because we don't stay the posh offices that exist, <laughs> you know, and and uh, all the pets, you know, all the benefits that you have to be, you know, to be the top companies, you know. We stay with the communities. We have a corner shops. We work with the community work for us, you know, um, and we contribute to community so many ways. We employ them, you know, in different ways, and uh, that's why we, we maintain the price. And there's competition everywhere. If they don't like us, they will go to another companies on the street. So uh, we, uh, on the 5%, you know, we, we, we are, I'm happy to say that we met, and, but I think there's also more opportunity even for the price to go down. Um, I won't lecture you about the why remittance is important. I think other people talk about it very well, including Dr. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dilba from the World Bank. Mm -hmm. um, so I won't go there. Um, I think, um, the key is the competition and it's the regulators and the UK government to intervene this. Otherwise, the whole point of, this may be the point I want to conclude. In many ways, the reason we are here is after 9-11. Before 9-11, people could send money anywhere. 
there was no problem and it's a matter of helping your families whether you have a 50 pounds whether you are 100 pounds whether you have 200 pounds you just want to help your family and if you are a bad guy you are a bad guy anybody will be come after you 9-11 happens and those evil people who did 9-11 come from Saudi Arabia not from Africa it's from Saudi Arabia they used Western including Western Union Western banks if you read 9-11 commissions it started 9-11 and after 9-11 everybody all the Western institutions and governments were just saying well we have to do something and then regulations after one another regulations after another one after another one and we are in where we are today where it might be difficult to help your family <coughs> so that's where I will stop thank you very much thank you, thank you.